Hi, welcome to Scott's Amateur Woodshop. Coming at you from my apartment today. Uh, I just wanted to answer a quick subscriber question. Uh, someone asked me, what's the difference between working with the trunk of the tree or the branches? Well, there's, there's a couple of big differences, actually. Um, we mostly use the trunk of the tree as lumber and the branches for firewood. And the reason for that is that the trunk grows straight and that creates straight wood that doesn't distort in as many ways when it dries. Um, whereas the branches would have what they call reaction wood in them. Uh, and I think what happens is something like as the branch grows it starts at one angle but then it grows and gets heavier and droops a little bit so it's distorting and storing up that tension as it continues to grow. Um, and also I've noticed trees grow a lot thicker on the bottom of branches so it's almost like they know they have to build up strength in that height dimension for stiffness um, and so that kind of wood distorts as it dries so you would not want to build rectangular typical furniture out of wood that came from branches because what would happen is every year that wood expands and contracts a little with the humidity and temperature changes unless you live somewhere like Hawaii um, so what happens with most boards is they distort just a tiny bit. They may be cup and bow. They're slightly not flat, but they still stay overall straight. Whereas wood that comes from branches, you would expect to really go crooked. And for typical furniture, that would be a problem. Um, but for some of the stuff that we do on my channel, like spoons, it's okay to use branches. And that's great because that gives you lots of options about where you get it. It means you can pull from the firewood pile and not worry about exactly where it came from. If you like the shape, you'll make a spoon. Now, will that spoon bend slightly back and forth with the seasons? Yes. Is that a problem? No. Um, it's also something to think about for the legs of chairs. Depending on your design, that might be okay. I like to make stools. Uh, I'll show you one like this one, and I like to leave the legs in these sort of arbitrary cross-section shapes. So you can see this one's kind of a rhombus, and this one's whoops, kind of a triangle, and this one's more like a circular blob. Um, got some dust on here, sorry about that. Um, so if, if you like to do that kind of a thing, um, it bends a little with the seasons it's a three-legged stool so it's still stable and it looks fine because it's a naturalist shape anyway so maybe you can use wood from branches and that just opens up options right um, that just that just makes it easier to be creative and find sources of wood maybe a branch falls off a tree near you and you don't, doesn't allow you doesn't help you if you're building a bureau but um, if you want to carve a spoon just go for it um, so I hope that answers the question, and uh, don't forget to use the buttons below, uh, don't forget to use the comment section if you have something to say or another question, and remember, uh, I'll always put things in the description if I forget to mention them or if there's a link you might want um, for more information. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful day. and. Go out in there and do something creative. Bye now.